Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be filming my memory spread and this is for the week of October 28th through November 3rd. And for this week I will be using a photo kit. This is from Avenue K Design and um, I think she has such gorgeous kits, especially during the fall. I had previously used another fall kit from her and I just absolutely loved it. Um, so I'm really excited to use this one as well. So really quickly, here we have the um, a set of headers. We've got the full box boxes and three quarter boxes here in the middle. I really love these full boxes that she chose to pull in. They're so reminiscent of fall and it's just like so cozy and snuggly. And then here we have functional boxes. We have scallop labels, these really thin like quarter boxes. We've got two Monday through Sunday boxes and two habit trackers, two build do stickers, some bow flags, and then a set of headers on the side. And the last page here has the date covers, the bottom washi, some washi strips, and then a set of bow checklists and I believe I picked this up either a la carte or in the mini kit size but she does offer more sheets in her kits so if you do need more than these type of stickers then she does have that option and I do have a coupon code for her shop but I can't remember off the top of my head so please make sure to check out the description box below if you would like to purchase something from her shop and yeah without further ado I want to jump right in um, the first thing I'm going to do as always is place down the bottom washi and if I remember correctly her washi it looks like two strips but it's actually one whole one so it's gonna be really easy to work with and yeah if you're interested in seeing me playing with this kit then go ahead and stay tuned I go ahead and white out those little lines between the bottom box of the day and the bottom washi section and this is the easiest way that I found to work with this new Erin Condren planner when placing down the bottom washi so for those of you who just purchased it over Black Friday and are going to be using it for the new year um, this is something that I do recommend if you like the way that the bottom washi was before um, so anyways moving to my sidebar because this kit did not come with a quote box I decided to write one in myself and I chose the quote fall in love mostly because there wasn't a whole lot of space on the box that I chose to write on and so this quote has pretty short words that I felt would fit nicely into the box and I whited out the hexagon on my planner because the colors did not match this week. That October script sticker I pulled in is from Heather B. Co. And then I continue building my sidebar. First, I placed down a strip of washi with a This Week Gold Foiled script sticker. And I believe that is from a sampler that I got from Paper Rose Planning. And then I placed down a habit tracker underneath that to track my workouts. I then placed down a thankful for header and then used the first Monday through Sunday box for the kit to track all my happy moments. And then at the bottom, I used the meals header with the second Monday through Sunday box to track my dinners. I did realize that I had a lot of room left over, so I kind of moved them around to space them out a little better. And then I noticed that her Monday through Sunday boxes actually come with a header on top so that you could fill in what you're tracking. Um, but I already put down headers at the top and I just decided to write them in again because otherwise I would just have so much extra space in my sidebar and having that double header did not really bother me. Moving on to Monday, I first placed down a full box at the bottom of Monday because I knew that's where I wanted it. And then I moved to the top and started by placing down a today header with a third box. On that third box, I pulled in this heart location sticker from Sunset Sticker Co. And on the third box, I wanted to mark that my boyfriend's car battery died that morning and so I had to drive him to work. And I just decided to write that off camera. Underneath that, I used a bow flag from the kit, but I did have to trim it down just a little bit so that I could write minimum day next to it. Um, this whole week was actually minimum day at my school which is really nice because I usually have the afternoons free to work on some reports then underneath that I used a quarter box with this heart icon from Hazel sticker to mark where I went and grabbed some lunch that day and then I put down a odds and ends header with a two bow checklist and I think that's also from the paper rose planning sampler that I got from her um, and initially I just put down two of the bows but I do place down the third one later on when I realized I had some extra space I placed down that gold foiled film sticker from Magic Prince Co. to mark that I filmed at the end of the night, and then I used a half box on top of that. Um, like I mentioned, I did add the extra bow onto the checklist so I could take up that extra space, and then I pulled in this disgruntled girl from Art Box stickers to mark that we were um, kind of frustrated by a situation that night. Um, we bought these tacos from Costco that we thought were like $5, but it turned out to be like $5 per pound, and so we ended up paying $15 for them and totally did not realize till we got home home. I mean, they were really delicious, but we were just annoyed that it was like three times the price of what we thought. And then on the half box, I used a TV sticker from the Sparkly Studio to mark that we watched Schitt's Creek that night. 
Moving to Tuesday, I first started by placing down a washi strip at the top, and then I placed down a pencil sticker from Samantha May Sticks to mark that I did lots of report writing on that morning. Um, I think I didn't like how my writing turned out, and so I decided to place down a quarter box behind that. And then in the afternoon, I had an IEP, so I placed that on a half box with this IEP sticker from Happy Dia Stickers. I then put down a full box underneath that, the one with the leaves, and then um, I used a today header with a three bow checklist that came in the kit. I just cut it down to three bows because that's all I needed, and then I just marked some things that happened that day. Um, we had more of the tacos from Costco that night, so I pulled in this taco sticker from Plans with Vanessa. I then used this foiled TV sticker from Magic Prince Code to mark that we watched Schitt's Creek again. Um, that is definitely one of my favorite shows. I highly recommend it. It's so funny and also so sweet at times. And at the very bottom, I put down a scallop label with this film clapper sticker from Mandy Dreams. And I think this edit sticker was from Sunset Sticker Co. And I just used that to mark that I edited a video that night. On Wednesday, I first started by placing down a full box at the top, and that is one of my favorite full boxes with that hot cocoa and the marshmallows and the leaves surrounding it. I just think it's so pretty and so perfect for fall. And then underneath that, I placed down a today header with a quarter box. And initially I pulled in this emoji sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co., but then I switched it out to this other sticker from Mochi Kichi. Um, it's like this little mochi with a bag over its head. And um, I used that to mark that there was a power outage at work, which was very inconvenient because because I had like a report and an IEP to print out for a meeting that we had. And so I actually had to drive over to the district office to print everything out that I needed. Um, I decided to grab some Del Taco on the way back to school. So I guess that trip wasn't so bad after all. And that taco sticker is from Olivier Hall Studio. To mark my IEP meeting that afternoon, I used a half box with another IEP sticker from Happy Dia Stickers. And then um, underneath that, I wanted to mark that I stopped by my PO box to grab some Happy Mail. So I used another flag from the kit and that little envelope sticker is from the sticker jungle. Moving to the very bottom, I decided to use the leftover space to mark that I did some laundry that night. And I used this gold foil laundry sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that. On Thursday, I placed down a full box, but I actually ended up switching out that box at the very end, I believe. Um, so Thursday was actually Halloween. Um, I put down a today header at the top with a third box and that gold foiled Halloween sticker is from Chic Blossom Prints. And then I also paired it with this adorable pumpkin mochi sticker from Mochi Kichi. And I just thought that was so perfect and festive. And then um, unfortunately, I had a really unproductive day because it was Halloween. A lot of the kids that I needed to see were either not at school or they had like parties in their classes and things like that. Um, so I didn't get a whole lot done. I used the stressed out emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. I had another IEP that day and I decided to pull in the IEP sticker from Tuesday and I switched out the color of the one on Tuesday just because I thought it matched that box a little bit better. Um, and then moving back to Thursday, I used a um, scallop label with a gold foiled laptop sticker from Magic Prince Co. to mark that I worked on more reports that afternoon. And then my boyfriend and I did date night that evening. Evening. So I go ahead and layer some washi strips together um, and then to mark date night I use this really pretty sticker from Regina Laughs. It was part of her fall bucket list sheet and then I also paired it with this gold foiled heart from Stella Bow Sticker Co. I had some me time when we got home that night. So I used this me time sticker, which I believe is from Sweet Fox Paper Re. I love that script font and yeah, that was it for Thursday. So I go ahead and move to Friday. On Friday, I started by placing down a header at the top, and then I used this gold foiled Remember Script sticker from Rose Color Days just to add some gold foiling to that part of my planner. I stopped by an 85 degree bakery that morning to grab some coffee and some breads, and the coffee sticker I pulled in is from Peanut Butter Taco. That day was a no student day, which means that the students did not have school, which is perfect because it's the day after Halloween, so the kiddos get to sleep in late after a night of trick-or-treating, and we just had a professional development training to go to, um, so I used a quarter box with this gold foiled check box from Samantha May Sticks to mark that. I initially put down a half box and a full box underneath that, but I do end up switching out the two full boxes from Thursday and Friday, and I can't quite remember the rationale behind it. I think it was because I wanted more color at the bottom of my spread on Thursday. Um, that's the only thing I can think of. But anyways, in the half box, I used a bow paper clip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. to mark our professional development training that we went to and then um, I also switched around the order of the full box and the half box.
I'm sorry this part feels kind of confusing with so many changes being made, um, but sometimes I can just be really particular about my spread and where I want the stickers to be. Underneath the half box, I use this utensil sticker from Samantha May Sticks to mark where we got some lunch. And then we pretty much just hung out at home and chilled that night. And so I used a bow flag sticker from the kit to mark that. And I binged watched Gilmore Girls that night. And so I marked that with another um, TV icon from the Sparkly Studio. On Saturday, I did not realize that my camera did not start recording, and so I'm sorry about some of that missed footage, but I placed down what I thought was a full box, but it turned out to be a bunch of washi strips, and I still wanted to use that box, and so I just placed them down one by one. Um, and then I put down a Today header with a half box, and that Cuddled Up Girl is from Fox and Pip. I use that to mark that we finally got some cooler weather on Saturday, so I put Snuggle Weather because I get really excited to snuggle on the couch when it gets cooler. Um, at the very bottom, I kind of decided to work back Backwards, I placed down a gold foiled heart. Um, I think initially it was from Hazel Sticker, but I decided to use this one from Clever Gal Crafts instead. And then I placed down a full box at the bottom of Sunday. I then found this glittery brown half box that was in my leftover stash, and I decided to pull that in because it did seem to match the kit pretty well. I then pulled in this board game sticker from Happy Dia Stickers. It did have some cute little characters sitting around the board, but I felt like it was taking up too much space, so I kind of cut them off. Um, but anyways, I used that to mark that we play the last round of this campaign game that we were playing with our friends, and unfortunately, I did not win, um, but it was still a really fun time getting to play the game. Above that, I used a taco sticker from Plants with Vanessa to mark that we grabbed some beer and tacos for lunch. We actually met up with my boyfriend's family. Um, they were in town just for a day and so we wanted to go see them and grab some lunch. And then in the remaining space, I put down the scallop label with a gold foiled heart from Stella Bow Sticker Co. to mark meeting up with my boyfriend's family. Moving to Sunday, first I placed down a quarter box at the top and this alarm clock sticker I believe is from Happy Sherpa Papery. Um, I use that to mark that we had a time change here in the United States. Um, so it's fall back, meaning that we go back to regular time and daylight savings had ended. Um, then I put down this half box with this toast sticker from Happy Dia Stickers. It's one of my favorite breakfast food stickers. And I wrote in that we had brunch at one of our friend's places and um, they made these amazing gluten-free waffles that are so good. I can't even believe they're gluten-free. They're so delicious. Um, but anyways, then I used a to-do header with a three bow checklist. I think again, that one is from Paper Rose Planning. It came in a sampler sheet. And um, one of the things I did when I got home was to paint my nails. So I pulled in this nail icon and I think that was from my leftover stash. So I can't quite remember which shop that was from. I then used a quarter box and used another TV icon from the Sparkly Studio to mark that we watched more Shits Creek that night. And then on the quarter box, I put down this gold foil film sticker from Magic Prince Co. and this planner sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I just filmed a plan with me that night. I go back to my sidebar and go ahead and track my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners. And now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left in the kit. And then I go ahead and do a quick vid wiggle to show you guys all the foiling that I pulled in. I definitely pulled in quite a bit of foil. It wasn't like excessive, um, but I felt like it was definitely a good amount to match this spread. And before I finished this spread, I actually decided to do one little switch on Sunday for some reason. And I can't quite remember why I did this because I filmed about a week ago, but um, I moved the full box up a little bit and then shifted down the Schitt's Creek and the filming towards the end of the day. It might be because there was such a huge chunk of white space in the middle of the day. And so I was trying to break it up with some color, but I don't quite know for sure. So anyways, this is my final spread. No more changes made. Um, I know there was a lot of things shifted around this week, but like I said, sometimes I just tend to be a little pickier than other times. And this was just one of those weeks. So anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching as usual. I hope you guys enjoyed watching how this came together. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.